will put this one in the air and Sunday night football is underway. The kick that's fielded at the five yard line by Fozzie Whitaker. And Whitaker gets taken down before he can reach the 20 yard line by Nico Thorpe. Well, how about this? They start with Derek Anderson at quarterback. He's their number two guy. They're going to go right to the air on play action. And the pass is intercepted. It's picked off. Mike Morgan will take it to the seven yard line. Thomas Rawls is the running back. Wilson hands it to him. And Rawls, who was their leading ground gainer last season, has been hurt for a good part of this season. He ran for 80 yards in the loss at Tampa Bay. Second down and goal. Fake the jet sweep. Wilson then throws, and it's caught at the five-yard line by Doug Baldwin. Third and goal. Wilson alone in the backfield, and Wilson will try to run it in and then shove it into the end zone, and that's almost picked off. And his defense for the hole. 23-yard mm -hmm. attempt for Hauschka. And that is a, a pretty crazy, I don't know, we, we, for one play, or what series or whatever and we'll try to uh, flesh that out as the kick is down in the end zone there five yard line you look at Newton's numbers he was last year's regular season MVP and the ball is handed off to Jonathan Stewart once again that Seattle defense best in the league fewest points allowed 17 per game we have a first penalty here Newton's going to take it and gets tackled up at the 29 yard line Offside defense number 72 lined up in the neutral zone at the snap. Five yard penalty. Replay second down. Well, Bennett comes back yeah. first time in five games. There and the ball is up in here somewhere, so he just could use a first down or two to get settled in this game. And on the ground, nice run there by Stewart. Looked like he was stopped once, then twice. Norwell has been the one steady guy this year. Everybody else has either been hurt or out or whatever. Noel's played every game at left guard, and the pass is knocked down up at the 42-yard line. And the big names, you got Thomas and Chancellor and Bennett and Sherman, so you don't hear it that much about right. Second and 10, pass to the outside, making the catch, Ted Ginn, but it was all he could do to just come down with it. Play clock is three. Pressure from the outside, tip high in the air. And incomplete, and Seattle almost had its second interception in a little bit more than four minutes. Had to take over for the injured Andy Lee three weeks ago. He's done a nice job, averaging 46.7 per group. This one is fielded at the 20 yard line. This is Tyler Lockett trying to get around the corner, backs up, and then with a flag down, and that would figure when you run that far across the field and you look like almost every punt During return. the return, illegal block in the back, return team number 33, half the distance to the goal, first and 10, timeout. Seattle starts this drive from their own eight yard line. Second possession as Wilson rolls to his right, throws and it's caught. Seven yard gain by Kirst. Let's take a look at the Carolina defense. Boston, North Carolina. Darrell Worley, West Virginia. Those two rookie corners, Tyler Lockett is off to the races here. Down the sideline he goes, and he finally gets taken down by Davis, racing all the way downfield to the 45-yard line. Is now in plus territory. At the 46-yard line of Carolina. On the ground, and this is handed to Rawls. Should be ready to play. Second and eight. Big hole over the left side and a spin move by Rolls to net the first down. I think he's razor sharp, ready for a big night. From the 36-yard line, Wilson going for it all. And a lot of action and contact, but no flag there. Tyler Lockett along with Robert McLean. Simply an incomplete pass. No doubt, second down and 10. <laughs> a lot of talk on the field. Meanwhile, you got... Rolls, who's able to keep on going. McLean had him stopped a couple of yards past the line of scrimmage, but that didn't stop him. With 7.50 to go in the opening quarter. 3-0 to score, and Wilson's going to keep it. Gets around the corner, and Russell Wilson stepping out of bounds at the 22-yard line, pushed Ryan Dallaire out of the way. Some of those unorthodox kind of throws, those 
moving to the left and throwing back to the right. Play action second and eight and a pass over the middle and that's Jimmy Graham setting up a first and goal. That'll start at this drive at their own eight. Now they're at the Carolina eight. Rolls. Lots of space and room. Touchdown, Seattle. The quickness of this cut over here is exactly what I was talking about with Thomas Rawls. Just electric and no way that Shaq Thompson could catch him from there. Don Ryan to hold it. And the Seahawks off to a flying start. We'll be here tonight in Seattle where the Seahawks off to a flying start. Lead 10 to nothing and this is a kick that will be one back from the five yard line, Fozzie Whitaker. Back to the 25 yard line. Newton begins this drive now from the 29 yard line. Fake to Stewart and a toss back to Ted Ginn. Ginn works his way up to the 35. That's a gain of six. It'll be You've been the third string center. And Trey Turner bumps out from right guard to right tackle. A lot of paste and a lot of glue. And that pass is caught for a first down. That's Kelvin Benjamin. Had a great rookie year. Three receivers bunch to the right side. Newton's going to fire to the left side. And in a lot of traffic, somehow Olsen comes away with it with nothing but blue shirts around him. In terms of the decimal level, Newton gets it off. Newton's going to run it on a draw and take the ball through the 36-yard line, where it'll make it second down and four. Newton comes up, in effect, in the pistol, turns and hands the ball to Stewart. And that didn't fool anybody. As Mike Morgan, the outside linebacker, sixth year out of USC, played for Pete Carroll, makes the tackle. Third and five, flag thrown. Wow. Oh, man, that's, well, you know what? If that's against, oh, it's well, a false he, start. It's a false start. Boy, that's a dangerous thing. You, oh, they blew false it start. dead. Offense, the 13, five yard penalty, third down. Well, they, they blew it dead, but how in the world did Newton hear the whistle? Uh, he may not have heard the whistle. Right. Third and 10, Newton fires over the middle, and that's knocked down, incomplete. So Lockett is back. Polardi, his second punt. And they try to dent in this one, and he does. Good kick. Flag down. The Carolina players may have taken After a shot. After the play, personal foul, kicking team number 14. 15-yard penalty, first and 10, timeout on the field. And that is Joe Webb. What we are hearing, and Michelle will talk to Rivera as he walks off the field at halftime. And We'll get confirmation later. Pass along the sideline. It's a six-yard gain there for Jermaine Curse. Ball up at the 28-yard line. Rolls. And he's going to get stuffed. Playing with leads like they were last year. Not quite the same number of pass rushing opportunities. Play action. Pressure put on, but he gets the pass away. And already a big night for Lockett, who takes it out to the 39-yard line. You had Leonard Johnson coming in from the corner. Sends in a first down play here from the 39-yard line. Wilson fires, and that's caught, and that's Lockett again. Tyler Lockett. Well, that's why one of the reasons Carolina is 29th in pass defense this year. Rawls fighting his way to the 41-yard line. What a run. Wilson, 8 for his first 10 for 97. And rolls to the outside, and this time he will get stuffed. Let's made inactive tonight. So the makeshift line on second and 10. Pass is caught out in the flat by Jimmy Graham. Tough running. Picks up about 5. A.J. Klein from behind. Won a thriller during the regular season. And beat the Seahawks in the playoffs as well. It's third and 5. Wilson gets chased, and the pass is incomplete right through the hands of Tanner McAvoy. And they indeed will go for it, and Wilson is under pressure, and he's going to get sacked back at the 46-yard line. Charles Johnson really having a good year. Nice break for the Panthers. They get it near midfield, start from the 46. Stewart was almost tackled in the backfield. 
And then loses the ball at the 50-yard line, and the Seahawks are right there to recover it. Well, Richard Sherman's going to come in and get this head on the ball, but it's K.J. Wright from behind, just as Stewart was getting going a second time. Seattle at midfield. Play action. And he's going to get sacked on back-to-back -back offensive plays. So Wilson advantage of their banged up offensive line that they think they can. Second and 16. Pass underneath and that will go nowhere. That's Jeff Baldwin. Their top receiver Doug Baldwin gets taken down. Wilson. Keep him in the block. Is Wilson time picked off at the 45 yard line. Trey Boston the safety to the 48 of Seattle. To nothing, 11.58 to the half. Carolina begins this drive at the 48-yard line. And that's a dangerous pass that Stewart collects. Flag comes in at the end of the play. Bobby Wagner, middle linebacker, makes the tackle. Legal block in the back. Offense number 74, 10-yard penalty replay. First down. He has been very much held in check. And to the outside he goes, and that's caught at the 45, Jonathan Stewart. Second down and 17 from the 45, play clock at one. He fires over the middle, and that's almost intercepted. Earl Thomas, so in a game we've already had, and Thomas is hurt. He spelled him last week in the Tampa Bay game. Now it's third and 17, three-man rush. Newton going all the way deep downfield, and it is caught for the touchdown by Ted Ginn. So they go deep downfield. Unbelievable. This is a Tampa 2 with a middle linebacker here. I'm just going to draw this because ordinarily they would be much closer. They expect the middle linebacker in this prevent kind of style to be able to cover basically down the middle of the field, so they widen those safeties just a bit. This one good for 55 on a third and 17. And Graham Gano now for the extra point to turn it into a three-point game. And you saw Terrell who plays on special teams. Graham Gano. Two yards in. Here's Lockett. Always a threat. And it's Gano himself who has to dragging down after a really good run back three passes for 57 yards tonight as the run back here sets him up at the 43 yard line big hole for Rawls and Rawls fights his way for a first down gain of 12 gets about five of those yards after contact and on and you see some of the toughness there of Rawls as well there's Rawls again to the outside Rawls inside the 30 Inside the 10, touchdown Seattle. Man, <laughs> what a cut that was. Oh, he's coming right up, and so is it right around there for the touchdown. I mean, this is, that is a lateral full speed cut that completely fooled everybody on the defense. Was a free agent, played his college ball at Central Michigan. Hauschka for the point after him, and so that Newton bomb gets very quickly answered. A two-point conversion, and that was the difference in the game. Winner in first place in the AFC West. Thursday night, Oakland against Kansas City. Let's go to Michelle. Good protection. Pass is then caught, or what should be with forward progress. A first down by Kelvin Benjamin. From the 36, they toss it back to Stewart. And he will get taken down from behind. At just about the line of scrimmage. Chased down by Michael Bennett. Second down. Second down, 10 after the timeout. Gives it to Stewart. And that doesn't fool anybody. Cam Chancellor right there at the line of scrimmage. Safety playing the role of a linebacker to knock him down third down. Third and ten. Blitz coming. They pick it up, and the pass is too high. An incomplete intended for Benjamin. Jeremy Lane. 
Pilardi comes in. This will be his third punt. Nearly a block. Fielded at the 15. Lock it. Decent run back. And just south of the airport. And another 15 minutes down the road would be SeaTac International. Look at this guy go again. Rolls. Taking a right and a left from Pete Carroll. That's his offensive line coach. He said they'd play better tonight than they have. Pass caught. Graham with Davis. Sheds him and then gets tackled at the 50-yard line by Griffin. For the twice a season. Now at the 49-yard line. Smacked down. Boy, took a shot there. Well, you know what? He's going to be certainly considered at second down and 11. And that pass is caught all the way to the 30-yard line by Nick Vanette, the rookie tight end. At the 29-yard line. Great balance strike for Seattle. And good movement here. Ball start. Offense number 78. Five-yard penalty. First down. Just to finish the thought on Thomas Davis, he's talking about a guy in the Hall of Fame. His guys that loves the game of football. Deserves it. Now this is Troy Main Pope. Gets his first carry and he gets chased out of bounds. He is a pair of linebackers I've ever seen. Second and nine. And again, this is Pope going for a gain of about two. Vernon Butler, who was their number one pick last year. I think I said the two corners were love what they've seen from him. You, on the other hand, are a broadcasting survivor. <laughs> Third and seven, and Wilson's going to take off and pick up the first down. So Russell Wilson. They need a big play. He can deliver it with his legs now. The Carolina rushing defense is second in the league. Well, they look like it there. They really haven't looked like it very much tonight. The Chiefs and the Raiders. George Farmer is now the back here on second and 12. And Wilson chased out of the pocket, but still dangerous. Throws an incomplete in the corner of the end zone intended for Jimmy Graham. Haven't been running the ball this year. Until tonight when Thomas Rawls has done a magnificent job. And then a screen incomplete. Farmer, who had come in, the second-year guy out of Maiden earlier from 23. And that one is down the middle. Speaking with him. I mean, when you're a billionaire, you own a team, and you're walking around with a big credential around your neck, that's humble. Reminds me of, like, when John Madden was coaching and the credentials hanging from his from his belt loop. They start now from the 25. And Newton throws incomplete. Down in 10 at the 25-yard line. And Newton, under pressure, fires incomplete. You had Benjamin there, the pressure put on by Frank Clark. Third and ten, that play clock goes to zero, and I'm not sure he got it all because I see a flag thrown at the line of scrimmage. And Mr. Penalty says, formation. Offense number 70 was not on the line of scrimmage. Penalty's been declined. Fourth down. Get them at least seven up on the line. So Pilardi now. He sends Lockett to the sideline. Flag is down. And Lockett. Whoa. Ooh, man. To the 35. He had a penalty all the way back up at the 37-yard line. And During the kick. Holding. Nope. Return team number 58. 10-yard penalty. First down. Ball is at the 15-yard line. And that's caught. For a gain of about six. That's Pope, so with a great job, he's hurt. So he is unavailable. The pass is caught up at the 30-yard line. That's Baldwin, and Baldwin stays in bounds before getting shoved out. He's their number one pick. Mouts available. Ball at the 40. Wilson hangs in the pocket, throws a bullet. Graham makes the catch and gets taken down at the 42-yard line by Michael Griffin. Down stays in here. 42. Wilson running for a first down and a lot more than slides to a stop at the 23 and says I'll take a timeout right here. The running arsenal for Seattle. First down. Wilson fires. 
Kirsch. And he is still going, picks up the first down, gets to the 14-yard line. Polk is the running back. Three receivers set to the right side. He has trouble with the snap. And then Wilson throws, and that's incomplete. Second and ten. Wilson. And he just throws that one away. Nothing open. Wilson throwing, and that's too deep. Graham, the intended receiver. The coverage was very good by Worley. 31-yard attempt. And Hauska's kick is good, so he has accounted for three field goals. Goes up back on the winning track at Jacksonville. Gonna run it out here from the end zone is Ted Ginn. Looking for something special, but it wasn't there. And that's going to take us to halftime. 23-7. Carolina last week trailed Oakland 24-7 at the half. It came back to take the lead before the Raiders pulled out the win at the end. And let's go right to Michelle. So he is not used to being injured. Right. This is Rocket. And he stays, we think, in back. And if he didn't step out of bounds somewhere along the line, he has gone all the way to the end zone. Time to lock it. That would be 75 yards. Skirts the sideline. Of course, it's a scoring play, so it gets reviewed. They're looking at it right now. Looks like he's in all the way. As his team right now is going to be down by 23 after this extra point. Three is defense, great linebacker in his years. Worked under a number of really good head coaches. Three receivers set to the left and then they break that. With Whitaker taking the toss here. And Bobby Wagner will knock him down to the ground after a gain of three, second down and seven. 15 and one a season ago. 55 of those 118 yards on that one play. Newton under pressure, and now Cam's going to run and slide to a stop up at the end the year. And that pass is caught at the 49-yard line by Greg Olson. Greg Olson, 10th year in the league, started in Chicago. Jimmy Graham on the other side. And the option here, juggled, and this is Philly Brown. Come up in the diamond formation. Off the play fake. Newton wanted to go long. Now he's got to spin around. Has to settle for short. And it is Greg Olson making the catch. Taking out of bounds in midfield. Third and 11. And Newton's pass is caught. And then spinning around and trying to get that first down is Ginn very close and uh, looks as if they will give it to him. Yeah. The official sticks right there. Did the ball ever get across the line? Not sure it did and of course that's one of these things that could be short. It was ruled initially a first down on the field and they had given him a first down. It, that could be challenged, the spot could be challenged but I don't see Carroll challenging this. I think we know a little more sometimes, and now reserve comment. From the 41-yard line, here is Jonathan Stewart to the 38-yard line. Off and running with a field goal, and they've never looked back. Leading 30-7 to as Newton launches one. You got action all over the place, and incomplete. Now Sherman is down, and for the moment, uh, Sherman likes better than those freebies like that. Third and eight. Here comes the blitz. Newton gets it away as he got contact and intended for Brown. It's incomplete. And on the other side. And he's still the best option they have. It's Pilardi to punt. Those numbers brought to you from the world headquarters of Pro Football Focus. <laughs> as Lockett makes the fair catch. Seahawks now from the 10-yard line. They start this drive. 
with a handoff here. Rawls is back, so he passed that concussion protocol. Frank Gore, that's right for the Colts. We, we did that game too. Second and 13. And that's caught out here by Doug Baldwin. He gets run out of bounds up at the 11 yard line. Third and nine is Wilson surveys, fires, caught, 21 yard line, first down. That's Tanner McAvoy, who was targeted earlier in the game and maybe throwing it up high and giving him a chance to use that size. To the outside, and this is Lockett, and this time he gets pinned behind the line of scrimmage by Armour and Pope are the guys, but at least they get rolls back. And then swing it out here to Baldwin. And then Doug Baldwin. Is, he's anything but old school, even though he's the oldest coach in the league. Yep. He's 65. And Wilson gets taken down to the 23. Off the spot. He's been off the spot and out and around and beating him, though. John Ryan to punt. His first punt of the night. And it's out of bounds up at around the 35-yard uh, oh, line. Splits wide to the right here. The ball is at the 35-yard line as Newton fires, and it's grabbed by Ted Ginn. He's this the seventh time in five seasons that he's played against them. These two teams are needing almost as much as they were in the same division. And Newton goes down. That's Rubin who comes in. Yeah, on that one. Third and one. 44. And this is Stewart. And not just Chris. It's not just the, the fact they gave up a great. I thought I was franchised. I didn't think I could go anywhere. He didn't want to go anywhere. From the 48-yard line, all kinds of time for him. And then he gets it picked off. Flag is thrown, though. Terrell with the interception. And we'll see if it stands. And the run back as well. And he's got some blocking. And he gets knocked down finally at the 30-yard line. Even Newton was in on the play at the end. And there's another flag down at the end of the play. There's two fouls on the play. Pass interference, defense. After the change of possession, illegal low block, quarterback number one. By rule, we'll replay the down. After all that, back at a first and ten. And that's caught, grabbed by Aaron F Devin Funchess, who was good this year. Some of that play action wasn't either. And there goes Newton again, going to the end zone and off the hands of Ed Dixon. The number one says, let's go, let's go, let's go. Play clock down to one. The runner himself. Flag is thrown. Holdy, offense number 74. 10 yard penalty replay, second down. And that's Mike Remmers. Second and 20 from the 42. And Newton throws and dropping to the ground after making the catch is Ted Ginn. And Newton throws and that's juggled, bobbled, and hold in for a first down by Devin Funches, who had not caught a pass until... And again... Incomplete try to go to the end zone that time Kelvin Benjamin Second down and ten from the 14-yard line And this time Newton's gonna run it, but he's not gonna be able to get by K.J. Wright Wagner K.J. Wright Newton on third and 12 and that pass is low and incomplete On one matchup down at the bottom with Benjamin and Sherman and Newton fires, and that's incomplete at the goal line, but a flag is thrown. Intended for Benjamin. You got Sherman right there. <laughs> Pass interference, <laughs> offense number 13. That is the five. First down. On NBC. Seattle begins this drive from the 16. So you get the feeling that George Fan is plenty good enough athlete. He's just learning a position. Yeah, broke in uh, mid-season. Offense number 78, five-yard penalty, second down. Plenty good enough to play left tackle in this league. And the Seattle offensive line, 
two rookie starters. That's caught, and that's going to be a first down. And slugging his way with a flag thrown is cursed McLean covering. Personal foul, base mask, defense number 27, 15 yard penalty automatic, first down. A week from tonight. First down as we start the fourth quarter here. And this is Rawls, who's the uh, GM here in Seattle. If they go out and they can find somebody like that to begin with. Second down and six. Thomas Rawls stopped for no gain. Not bad having Tom Cable over there to coach him up just a little bit. How little experience he has in this game, it's really remarkable. Third and six. Wilson throws, and that'll be a first down. Doug Baldwin. Basically told him how much they really did want him and how valuable he could be to them. And getting free and wide open, speaking of one Mr. Baldwin. <laughs> I don't think that's what Ezekiel Elliott was looking for, that cropped off shirt. No, me neither. How much fun was that house they growing up? Mark oh is his brother. Gosh. And Wilson throws to the end zone, and it's almost intercepted. And the intended receiver, Graham, has to wind up playing in effect defensive back. Not quite the same. Third and eight. And Wilson fires, caught. Graham tries to back his way into the end zone, and they hold him out. But it's going to be a first down and goal as he drops the mic. Two runs. And this time it is Wilson throwing. Graham for the touchdown. Jimmy Graham almost got in. The down in the box kind of guy now having to cover one of the great pass receiving tight ends of all time, Jimmy Graham, who gives you the reverse spike dunk, whatever you want to call that. On the run, two by Rolls and the 75 yarder by Lockett. Hauschka bangs it through. Totally dominant. 472 yards of offense for the home club. I'll tell you about the following Sunday after this first play of the drive. And this is Stewart. And we're flexing into the the following week, which is the 18th night. Of, we get a chance to watch it. And they are. And they knocked off San Diego on the road today. And there's a big hole here exploited by Jonathan Stewart all the way to the Seattle 46 yard line prior to that burst. Newton started to stumble and then just uh, flings that one out of bounds. Second and 10. Well, we've seen a lot of spin moves. That was a pretty good one. Yep. And that's tipped and it's incomplete again. Third and 10. And a little bit behind and incomplete. Tended for Funches. That'll make it fourth down. This year, beat them both times last year. But you like Seattle's chances for I do. I, I, I think I do. <laughs> and that one will bound into the end zone. Yeah, I do like their chances. Ones, a couple of weeks ago. So the backup quarterback. Ravon Boykin will come in, the rookie out of TCU, free agent, so he's the guy who backs up. Yeah, it was shocking, Michelle, and the, in that game as Boykin throws, and that's caught by Tyler Lockett. Him in tears like that. I thought something happened that he considered to be sort of career ending, and we couldn't quite figure out exactly what it was, but to see. Most of his family is pushing back on that decision at all, and he said, they just want me to be smart. Yeah, well, and you got Rawls and his big night keeps on going. I'm sorry, <laughs> it was Pope. Using with all his loops and stunts, and he doesn't have much experience. He is a guy that can move people in the run game. 239 on the ground and maybe one or two more. I was thinking about, you know, Keekley. Did things much differently maybe than I did as a player or a coach or even a broadcaster as I look at the whole big picture now. But this is a superstar player question standpoint and thought that all the protocols were actually making a difference. Third and seven, going deep that field, making the catch along the sideline is Jermaine Curse. Oh my goodness, Curse I think got away with one there. She was put on West Court. First came foul, in. roughing the passer. Defense, number 96. 15-yard penalty, 
First down. And that was Horton who put the heat on and boy started since the first game of the season. First and goal to give the ball now to Farmer. And I'll make it second and goal. We're under five minutes now to play. Whoever's competing the hardest and winning the battles, they play. Second and goal and the stuff in the backfield is Pope. You know, you think about came from nowhere, George Panther starting left tackle. I still can't get over his story to get to be left tackle in this league. Third and goal. Plus Boykin out. And that pass is incomplete. You know, you look at Boykin. This will be his fourth field goal tonight. And it's good. Well, this one was already over before that. Yep. Then if you're the one seed, you get the conference championship game in your ballpark. So when you get there, a yard into the end zone, Fozzie Whitaker looks into his own man and gets taken down up at the 30-yard line. One pass, one pick. Oh, the wardrobe now, <laughs> right. That's right. And this is Stewart picking up three. So let's take a look right now at the found ways to win every week, sometimes in the most improbable ways. Did it again today, and this is Mike Tolbert who gets a carry. Mike Tolbert was the guy who was going to be the recipient of the first pass of the game and couldn't handle it. Leading. 22, third and five. And that'll be a first down as Trenton Burson makes the catch. To the NBA? You know what? I would like to do one. Oh, I'd love to do the NBA. This is Mike Tolbert. Taken down to the 42 by Bobby Wagner. Second and 10. From the 42. And a draw play here. Straight up the middle goes Tolbert. Looks like he gets younger every year, too. Yep. And the game will end on a little Tolbert run. No such thing. <laughs> yeah, right. And that will wrap it up. A little uh, collegiality to end this one in Seattle. Pete Carroll, another victory, and the Volkswagen post-game report comes up on the other side of the break.